What's up, everybody? I'm back with more. And as some of you already know, I'm in the process of repainting a new team of Carolina Panthers. So I took the existing team I had and I put them in a bowl to refurbish them. See if we can get a close up there. And as you can see, paint looks like it's softening. The last refurbished video I had done, I used a different household product to uh, clean off my teams. I used oven cleaner that time. But this time, I used another household product use pine saw and what I found by using this pine saw is that although the pine saw is working it's not really getting the paint off the figure like easy off does like this figure here you can see the paint is loosening the pants on the figure were silver. They're now gray. I painted these figures using uh, two different brands of paints. Uh, I used um, apple barrel paint, and which is a water-based paint, by the way. And that paint, that paint, came off without brushing it. And I used on the jersey another paint by a company called Mr. Color. And that paint is an oil-based paint. That paint is having a harder time coming off uh, from using pine saw. So what I'm going to do with these figures, which have been soaking for about a day and a half now, the paint is just not moving fast. The paint's not coming off fast enough. So I'm going to remove these figures from this pine saw soak and I'm going to rinse them and then I'm going to put them in a bowl of oven cleaner and go ahead and get this paint off these figures. And while that's happening, I'm going to uh, look into some other paints. <clears throat> I, I had experimented with uh, some other colors while I was talking to uh, some of the guys on the uh, MFCA message board and they, they had given me some suggestions as to what colors I could best use to get this team of Panthers that I want. Here's a, uh, a color that I tried using. This paint is by Extreme. It's called uh, Extreme Glitter. And it's a, uh, as you can see, it's a blue paint. And it's got a glitter like finish. After, after I applied this paint, didn't quite like it much it's a bit it's a bit too too sparkly too it's too it's too busy so I tried another one this is another type of uh, glitter paint and this paint is let's see where I put it at That paint was my Craft Smart blue glitter paint. It's not as busy as this extreme glitter, but neither neither one of these paints were uh, didn't really work out. I also have a a blue ice pearl by Craft Smart. This paint has 
the texture but when applied to the figure it's got more of a uh, a, a lighter color so it wasn't the the blue that I need I need a combination of this with this sheen without the glitter and the, the softness of this blue paint right here and that type of paint is hard to find uh, one coach has suggested that I go to Home Depot and get uh, a paint from there called uh, Panther Blue and uh, use uh, acrylic thinner to smooth out the paint and use uh, the bulkhead gray paint that I talked about earlier in the previous video for the paints this model master paint right here he suggested that I use that and another coach suggested that I use a combination between these two figures you have seen in the previous video use the Carolina blue jersey on this figure with the silver pants on this figure to create the team so the guys were guys out there were very generous with their uh, with their ideas and their opinions and I'm taking in all of those ideas and opinions because this Panthers team although it's easy to paint it's hard to find the colors that closely resemble the uniform so I'm gonna go and get this uh, team out of here out of this bowl and get and get it into a bowl of uh, oven cleaner to get this paint removed from the figures so I can uh, get busy with the uh, recreating of my new Panther team I mean I got other figures I mean I got other figures that I can paint like you know these I got guys like this like this guy right here you know I got I got personnel so it's no problem I, I don't I don't necessarily have to wait on these guys right here to finish uh, I have teams you know these are some of my uh, Reginald Rutledge figures I got on standby you know these are all new figures I can go ahead and start pulling from and start uh, and start making teams with uh, I got some other Haiti repro figures in boxes ready to go ready to be used so I don't necessarily have to wait for this team and this bowl to uh, come clean it's just that uh I can save my new figures for other teams that I want to paint if I don't want to refurb another team. I've now taken the figures out of the uh, pine saw soak and this is what I have now. As you can see, the figure still has paint on it the pants have been stripped down to the white primer and the primer is just like this uh, blue jersey it's the uh, it's an oil based uh, paint so the pine saw is not strong enough to strip the paint from the plastic this pine saw pretty much was a pre soak basically it's good for that that's what I'll say it's good it's good for a pre soak so what I'm going to do now I'm going to spray easy off over these figures here and finalize the uh, removal of the paint on these figures basically what I have this pine saw is basically giving me a a sticky uh, 
soupy, to a sticky, gummy type of uh, consistency from the paint partially coming free from the figure. And these are a pair of my gloves here that I used while I was scrubbing the figure. And as you can see, there's uh, paint residuals, you know, dried on the gloves. See, easy off, the oven cleaner would have removed this paint also. It would have bled all the paint from the gloves as well as from the figure. And the, the paint soup would have been in the bowl, but it wouldn't have been on the figures anymore. So, after a day and a half of soaking these figures in pine saw, I said enough is enough. So I'm going to go ahead and spray these guys down with uh, some easy off and get these figures clean. I've allowed my figures to soak in easy off for about four hours. So I took the figures that were soaking in the pine saw and I put them in this uh, easy off oven cleaner bath here. And after about five hours, four or five hours, the paint started to come off. I got my brush here. And for the sake of the camera, I'm just gonna scrub a little, a few of the figures like this. Like I did in the first uh, refurbish video. Gonna grab a few of the figures out of the bowl. Move around a bit. And you see the blue on the jersey there, right? Okay. So without much work, the figure started to come clean. Let me see if I can grab me a Haiti Repro blocker. Okay, it's a buzz ball linebacker there. Here we go. Swish it around a bit, try to rinse it off. I don't want to put it in the water just yet. I want you to see how it looks with the oven cleaner on it. And as I use my brush just a little bit, look at this. The blue came off just like that. Just that easy. So that, that all the oil-based paints, all the paint for that matter, be it uh, water-based or oil-based, all that paint came off when using the oven cleaner. Dipping in some water here, give it a little rinse. Look at that. Still gotta let us, I'm, I'm gonna start scrubbing all these figures to get it moving a little faster. But the figure is coming clean, as you can see. off our brush get a close-up of that you see all the green and the blue in there that's the paint coming off the oven cleaner is the most effective oh and by the way the uh, pine saw I used uh, I mixed it with water also and after it after those figures soaked for a day and a half I tried scrubbing the figures with the brush and the jerseys wouldn't come clean. So the oven cleaner is the best to use overall. Use it, you can't go wrong. Your figures will come clean within a matter of hours and you can get to work. I've got most of the figures cleaned off. As you can see here, I grabbed, uh, I like to grab my Haiti Repros first since they're you know, fixed poses. They're not customized. There's a little bit of our residual uh, light blue paint here in the armpit, but I'm not too worried about that. Here's a uh, Haiti Repro blocker. So I still got some more figures in there soaking. I got some megawatts figures in there. And uh, 
some other Buzz Ball figures and some uh, Reginald Rutledge figures also. They're still soaking. So the Easy Off knocked out this paint in a matter of hours. And you can see my gloves here. They've come a lot cleaner than what you saw in the last frame. So yeah, again, the Easy Off is the better route to go. I wouldn't even pre-soak with the, uh, the pine saw. It's just going to add more time. I have another paint that I want to show you guys. And I think this combined with mixing it with another color will give us, will give me the Carolina look that I'm trying to get. And this is Metallic Blue by Folk Art. This is a, uh, it's a shiny colored paint and in the bottle it's the exact color the, it's the exact color the jersey is on the Panthers but I laid this uh, color down on a on a uh, another piece of plastic here I don't know if the light will do it any justice but there it is so I can move around a bit see if we can get the best possible look here so that's how it looks out of the bottle when I lay it down on some plastic. In fact, this is a old this is a old Seattle Seahawk I have. I painted it not with this paint but with a different paint that's similar to it. So it kind of has a finish like the Seahawk right here. So I don't know. I'm gonna um, I figure if I mix this. Uh, metallic blue paint maybe with a little bit of a uh, metallic white it may cut it just enough and still have that sheen that blue uh, shine to it a blue shimmer um, I'm gonna try this along with the other ideas that uh, other coaches have given me but um, I got a lot of paints here in my uh, on my shelf I want to tap into this inventory to see what I can get from it. So for the, for the most part, got my figures cleaned off. Just got a few more to go, a few more to get done in there. And uh, we'll be able to uh, restart the uh, paint process of the Electric Football Carolina Panthers.